All right, so here's an example of the type of problem we might have for chapter four. This is a projectile motion. So we're kicking a ball off the top of a building, has an initial speed of 30 meters per second, and is at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. So the two things I'm asking you to find is the maximum height, and notice I asked measured from the top of the building, and then also how far from the base of the building does the ball land? So I wanna know this, this would be its range. I've written the general form of the equations for projectile motion. And so now let's put in our own values for our problem so that we can create ex expressions that are going to work for us um, for this specific problem. I've put my origin down here. Oh, I actually haven't. I put my origin here. No, I put my origin down here, sorry. So this is where y equals zero, x equals zero. That means that my initial x value is zero, but my initial y value is 50. So my x expression is gonna be given by 30 times the cosine of 30 times t, because x naught is zero. That ends up to be, if I multiply that out, it's 25.98t. y is equal to 50 plus 30 sine of 30 that's the x, the y component of the initial velocity times t minus 4.9 t squared. This is y is equal to 50 plus 15 t minus 4.9 t squared. And my y velocity is going to be equal to 15 minus 9.8 t. So these become my equations that I'm going to work with for this problem. In the first part, for part a, I want to find the maximum height, and I know that the maximum height is reached when the y velocity is equal to zero. So if I can find that time, So that ends up to be 1.53 seconds. Then I can find the, I wanna use this in my y equation. So y at 1.53 seconds would be 50 plus 15 times the 1.53 minus 4.9 times 1.53 squared. If I calculate that all out, I'll get 61.5 meters. But my question asked me to measure it from the top of the building. So I wanna find the delta Y, which is the 61.5 minus 50, because I wanna basically wanna measure from here to here. And so that ends up to be 11.5 meters. So it goes 11.5 meters above the top of the building. For part B, I wanna know, basically I wanna find the range. Now, in class, I told you, don't use the range equation. Here's a good place where you, it wouldn't work. The range equation is designed to work when you leave from the same level of, on, in the y direction that you land at but that's not what, what is happening here. If I use the range equation in this problem, I'm, only, I'm not gonna find the correct value. So I'd rather just use my own knowledge and find it myself. I wanna know the time in the air first. And I know that y equals zero when it lands. And so if I find the time when y equals zero, then I'll know the time in the air. This sets me up for a quadratic equation.
And when I solve that quadratic equation, the only real value of time, that is the only positive value that I get is 5.07 seconds. So this becomes the time in the air. Now I want to find the x for that time would be the range, and that's what I'm looking for. That's going to give me the distance from the base of the building that um, from which from the base of the building that the ball lands at. So I'll use my x value. It's 25.98 times the 5.07, and that gives me a range of 131.7 meters. So that is the answer to part B. And back up here, we found 11.5 was the answer to part A. So that's a good example of a projectile problem that you might encounter.